we live in an era where the line between human intelligence and artificial intelligence is increasingly blurred. It's hard to imagine a time where libraries filled with physical books were the primary gateways to knowledge. Today, our cell phones act as portals to huge amounts of data, transforming the way we engage with information. Our assignments and projects, usually done by manual research and writing, can now be significantly aided by AI-powered tools. However, with this newfound power at our fingertips, an ethical question arises. How should we, as students, use artificial intelligence responsibly in our school? Due to the rapid innovation and transformation, educators and academic institutions are facing a lot of uncertainties, trying to establish ground rules on how to properly integrate these AI tools in classroom settings. But while we continue to navigate these changes, our roles as students shouldn't be passive. We need to learn about this evolving technology and to uncover its benefits, shortcomings, and ultimately to learn how to use these powerful tools ethically. In education, AI-powered apps and software have increasingly become parts of our toolkits for learning, like ChatGPT. It's a natural language processing tool that allows us to have human-like conversations, but with a chatbot. It can answer questions, help you with composing essays, solve complex math problems, and even test your coding. I, for one, use ChatGPT for many of my assignments, and I can share with you my process. In my socials class, the teacher gave us an assignment on the Boeing 20s. I first went on Google, did some simple research to familiarize myself with the topic, and I found out that airplanes used during that time were quite interesting. So then I decided to focus on that. I then told ChatGPT to prompt me three topics in order for me to elaborate on for my future presentation. Golden age of aviation, record-breaking aviators, and the rise of commercial aviation. With this outline, I took keynotes and expanded into paragraphs. But here is when we have to be extra careful. Because although ChatGPT is an impressive tool, it's important to note that it doesn't verify the information it generates, possibly leading to inaccuracies and false information. For example, one time I typed in a chemistry problem and it returned with a negative answer, whereas in fact, the answer was most definitely positive. This proves that we really can't rely on it 100%. Fact checking becomes an essential step so we need to refer to other reliable sources in order to verify the information that is being generated by ChatGPT. After verifying, I now become an editor. I take these machine-generated paragraphs and scrutinize them, cutting out parts that don't align with my original idea or the assignment's requirements. Sometimes I reorder sentences or parts to make the content clearer or more in tune with my personal writing style. Essentially, I use ChatGPT or other AI tools as a partner in my writing process, helping me to ideate and draft the content. But the final product is still very much of my own thinking and understanding, refined through my personal editing process. Besides ChatGPT, there are other AI-driven content creation tools that can help us process information, structure well essays, and learn to present the ideas in a compelling way. When we choose to use these tools, it should only be in a way that augments our critical thinking and creativity as we let artificial intelligence handle the more technical aspects of writing. However, the benefits of AI extends even further and is already reshaping how we learn. Through its adaptive learning programs and intelligent tutoring systems, 
AI can customize educational content to the specific needs and pace of individual students. It can identify our struggles and modify its content, try its best to suit our learning style. A good example of this is Comigo, the AI chatbot of Khan Academy, an educational platform used by students, teachers, and homeschoolers all around the world. Students can chat with Comigo, and it helps by not only giving answers, but by giving suggestions and recommendations on how to tackle the problem. Pretty awesome, right? Then there are AI-powered virtual reality experiences that can create immersive educational environments, making complex subjects such as astronomy or chemistry more engaging and easier to understand. We can simulate animal dissections, allowing us to explore the inner workings of the animals without needing to dissect live ones. We can also go on virtual trip field trips, traveling to historical locations, ecosystems, and other places from the safety of our classrooms. We couldn't have imagined this being possible just a few years ago. Although AI has many exciting possibilities for learning, we must also be mindful of its limits. For one, the information that is being generated by the AI isn't always 100% accurate. So we need to do our own fact checking. Also, it's important to note that the data that the AI is trained on may have biases, which can be reflected in the output, potentially skewing the information it delivers. But most importantly, as we bring AI more into our lives, we have to consider our safety and privacy. So while we make the most of AI to help us learn, we have to use it responsibly and thoughtfully to ensure we're using it in a safe and ethical way. Artificial intelligence is a truly extraordinary tool in education. And as we continue to celebrate the positive things AI brings, we have to remember that it can't replace the real people who guide our learning. Our teachers, mentors, and classmates all play a huge role that can't be replaced in shaping our educational journey. Education isn't just about doing assignments, writing essays, or completing projects. It's about deepening our knowledge, building knowledge, and expressing that knowledge effectively. AI is an amazing tool that can help us along the way, but it should not replace our own efforts. I encourage you all to harness its power as a, in our educational journey, but to keep our own intellectual growth at its core. Thank you. Thank you.